Born during the Cold War as a nuclear deterrent, the Handley Page Victor was one of Britain's iconic V bombers. It followed the Avro Vulcan and Vickers Valiant, representing the final chapter of the UK's strategic bomber program. But the Victor's legacy went beyond its role as a nuclear deterrent. It became a symbol of British innovation and resilience. The story of the Victor begins in the post-World War II era when Britain sought to maintain its global power status amid rising Cold War tensions. In January 1947, the UK's atomic weapons program officially launched, and with it came the need for a high-performance aircraft capable of delivering nuclear payloads. The RAF sought to replace its aging Lancaster bombers with a jet-powered aircraft that could carry a 10,000-pound bomb over 1,500 nautical miles. The Air Ministry issued specifications demanding high-speed, altitude capabilities of up to 50,000 feet, and a reliance on stealth over defensive armaments. Handley Page answered the call with two prototypes of what would become the Victor. Testing at RAF Boscombe Down revealed its groundbreaking design, culminating on June 1, 1956, when a Victor broke the sound barrier, the largest aircraft to do so at the time. Entering service in 1958, the Victor initially served as part of Britain's nuclear deterrent. However, its role shifted in 1968 when the UK transitioned its nuclear strategy to submarine-based Polaris missiles. The Victor's service as a bomber was short-lived, but its story was far from over. Many Victors were converted into aerial refueling tankers, extending their operational life. These tankers played a pivotal role in the Falklands War of 1982, refueling Vulcan bombers for their historic missions to the Port Stanley airfield. The Victor remained in service as a tanker until 1993, marking the end of the RAF's V bomber era. Its legacy endures as a testament to British engineering and adaptability, bridging the gap between post-war challenges and modern aviation advancements.